What's up guys, my name is Dari and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I want to talk a little bit about pagination in Laravel because compared to most other programming languages or frameworks, it's very easy to use. Laravel offers a built-in concept for pagination and it's also hooked into Eloquence results and the router by default. The most common page you'll see pagination is where you are displaying database results on the screen, but there are too many results for a single page. For the people that are not familiar with the term pagination, you've probably came across it tons in your life. Let me quickly show you an example. Let's go to airbnb.com. Let's just randomly add a location, let's say Amsterdam. Now let's click on search. If we scroll down, you'll be seeing these numbers right here. And that's actually what pagination is. You will see the maximum of rentals on the page and you can navigate to another list pages right here. So if you click on two. Now Eloquent and the query builder read the page parameter from the current page request. Let's go right to our controller. It differs a little bit when you're working with Eloquent or the query builder. I prefer to use Eloquent, but I will also show you how you could use it with the query builder. Let's go to our index because we want to add pagination let's say right here. So when we have too many cars, we want to add pagination at the bottom. So what we could do is, well, let me actually add a comment. So let's say for the query builder, which we're not going to use, but I want to show it. Let's say variable cars is equal to DB colon colon table and select everything from cars. And what we need to do is to add an access operator of cars, followed by the method called paginate. Inside our parentheses, we need to pass in the amount of cars that you want to show per screen. So let's say four. I will comment this out because I want to use the eloquent way. So what we want to do is to select all from car, the model, but we don't want all. What we need to do is to basically replace it with paginate. And that's it. Now inside our parentheses, let's say that we want to paginate per tree. Let's save it. Refresh the browser. Obviously, this won't generate some kind of UI when we define pagination. Whenever you want to display the results inside the view, our collection that we're sending back will have a method that we could use called links. So let's hop to our view. So our index.blade.php. Right below our for each loop, in between the two divs, we could basically say variable cars. And let's call the links method. Now, if we save it and refresh the browser right now, nothing has been added. So let's actually wrap it inside the far dump to see what's going on right here. Save it, refresh the page. And well, it actually does return something back. And honestly, I don't understand most of the things that are on my screen right now. But the main point is that this will print out the pagination controls from the bootstrap component library. As you could see right here, it has been bootstrapped. Since we have set our pagination to three, we need to add new cars to our database. First, let's get rid of the far dump. Save it, refresh the page. Let's add a new car. Brand name is BMW founded in I have no idea and the description is this is my BMW submit it still no pagination let's add a new car let's call this Ford I have no idea when it has been created and the description is this is my Ford submit it let's scroll down and you can see that our pagination has been added so how does this work well when you call the links method right here. Well, let me actually show it on Google. Let's Google bootstrap pagination example. Let's open the first one, the getbootstrap.com. It will basically convert the link method to what you see on your screen right here. It will create an unordered list pagination with page items inside of it. Now this was it for this video. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.